Hi everybody. Today we are in the Cyprus collection in front of this monumental work of art by Adamandios Yamandis, the world of Cyprus. So you might be thinking, how long would it take for an artist to paint such a large work of art? Well, it depends on the artist, of course. It took the Amandis five whole years. So he was working on this piece between 1967 and 1972. Now this huge uh, work of art is 17 and a half meters long and 1.75 meters tall. So it's a really large work. Now, where do you think he could find such a huge canvas and where would he be able to store it? Well, if you look closer, you'll notice that it's actually multiple panels. So every place where the glass divides, the panels also divide below. And that made it much easier for him to actually be able to work on it. An interesting fact is that he actually hung individually, one by one, the panels from his ceiling and would work on them in that manner. Now, the Amandis didn't use a normal canvas to create this work, but rather he used Irish linen, something where there was a lot of this kind of material in Cyprus, because during that time they used it to make the famed Lefkara lace. Now let's take a moment and look and, and look a bit closer at the idea of how this painting is set out. So it's this long, long, narrow sort of image where we see all these different characters. So the layout of this painting reminds us of a frieze. Now, have you heard of that word before? Have you heard of a frieze? Do you know any well-known friezes? So one of the most well-known friezes is in the Parthenon in Athens. Now a frieze is usually a long scene or multiple scenes similar to the painting that we have here but it's a sculpture. Now rather than actually seeing individual sort of statues it's a sculpture that's a relief so it comes out of a flat stone and you sculpt out the various figures. Now it's possible that the Amandis was inspired by this ancient Greek art form. Because if, for example, we take a look at one of the famous um, friezes in the Acropolis, where is the celebration of the goddess Athena, we see many, many different figures, over 300 different figures, and many animals and scenes of the everyday life of the people. So in a way, we can make this comparison, that in a sense, the Amandis was making a modern day frieze showing the traditional life of Cyprus.